Jog Vlog. Two years ago, I stood in this very location and I gave YouTube its first negative review of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. It wasn't my best technical review. It wasn't my funniest. It was the review that YouTube needed at that time. And I know that half of you watching this, yes, this is the most hated channel on YouTube. How do I know? I've got a thousand uploads and barely two thousand subs, okay? Yeah, there's more popular channels. They have actual fans. That's why this one's the most hated. I know that half of you are here because of that video. And a lot of you are asking, hey, I really want your thoughts on The Last Jedi. You know what? I didn't give a shit. I went out of my way to make sure I didn't even know when this movie is coming out. Watch the end of my videos, the card that shows up. Click here for the subscribe, Patreon, all that. There's a little animation where these boxes show up. That comes from the end of The Last Jedi's teaser trailer that was posted on YouTube. I just didn't even watch it. I downloaded it, went to the end, was like, I'm taking some of this, putting on my channel, subliminal messaging to those fans. Maybe they'll subscribe. Now it's not going to work because I told you about it. I didn't even know when this came out until it came out. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to look up the spoilers. So I'm ranting about that. Yes, I know. You can't really review a movie till you see it. You know what? Movies don't even exist anymore. This isn't a movie. This is a product. This is a marketing gimmick, an exploiting of fans. It's really shameful practice is what we've gotten into of any Hollywood release these days. Okay, I'm not even going to review that. I'm just straight up ranting and dropping the truth on you guys for those of you who actually care to listen. And then there's those of you who deserve this shit. The take my money crowd. Well, hey, Disney's making more Star Wars. They can't be bad. At least there's more Star Wars. At least George Lucas ain't involved, right? Is that what it takes? Disney just goes and steals some other guy's vision. Kids these days, hey, yeah, I want to make the next Star Wars. I don't want to be inspired by Star Wars to create my own shit. No, it's just so much easier to just buy stuff. That's what Disney went and did. Hey, we don't compete against Star Wars. Let's just buy Star Wars. And then while the internet got in a tizzy over net neutrality, oh no, net neutrality's dead. Yeah, the law that was named that is gone. Guess what? Pre-2015 internet looked a shitload like 2017 internet to me. Okay, nothing's changing, okay? This is just Donald Trump doing his, I want to roll back everything Obama did, and then there's going to be Trump net neutrality, the best neutrality money can buy, okay? That's all it's going to be. Donald Trump just wants to put his own spin on shit. He's got to have his name everywhere, right? While that's going down, Disney sneaks in this little one, huh? Let's buy 21st Century Fox, okay? We're getting 20th Century Fox movies. We're getting Fox with the Simpsons. We're getting Fox News. Because, you know what? We want to get into the cable news business, but we don't want to actually have to make a cable news channel. Let's just buy one, huh? Oh, hey, we got controlling interest of Hulu now. We had one third, now we got two thirds. Guess what? This is going to be Disney's Netflix competitor. Look for Hulu to get rebranded as Disney Streaming or some shit. And it's going to be exclusive Disney content, blah, 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 blah. This is where you're going to get all your Disney stuff. Oh, well, you thought Disney was just going to go make something? No, why don't you use something with an installed base, huh? Oh, you already got these people signed up. You can just keep taking their money. That's how they view this stuff. Okay, I think Walt Disney was a righteous dude. He was a pioneer. He was doing some good stuff. I don't have anything personal against Mickey Mouse. I just think Bugs Bunny is an actual character. He was the little guy in Hollywood for some time. Then the Jews came knocking. Oh, hey, we know how to make a lot of money over here. You just absorb a lot of shit and you just pander to this group and you rip that one off and there you go. Now we're really cooking. We are fast coming into a time with only one possible movie company making theatrical movies. Because everybody else is like, well, shit, we, we can't compete. We don't have enough characters that people really love. You're going to have to see these guys team up. We're going to have to have like some kind of triple merger shit. Warner Brothers, Paramount, Universal. They're going to have to merge to survive against this behemoth. And this is all the shit that Disney pulled here. There's going to be no room for anybody to start up and tell an original story with any kind of imagination. It's just going to be, let's have our superheroes and their superheroes. You guys want to go see Star Wars? Well, guess what? Now it's about chicks kicking ass. Because we need to get girls money. We already have the guys. Take my money. You guys raised on Star Wars, you fans. 
Fans is a four-letter word, okay? I'm not a fan of anything. My favorite movie is Terminator 2. I don't say I'm a Terminator fan. That'd mean I'm like, well, I just cannot wait for the next Terminator. Don't be a blind fanboy. Appreciate that which you like. Maybe look forward to... Oh, I can't... Uh, you know, it'll be exciting to see... Uh, or interesting to see how this goes down. Have that kind of perspective. Don't be pathetic. Don't be that guy who just goes ahead and pre-orders his ticket and he's ready and waiting, all right? Don't be that. You don't have to wear the Star Wars shirt to know Star Wars. You don't have to have the poster. You don't have to have the shit and figurines in the background to be able to talk about Star Wars, okay? When you watched Roger Ebert review movies, did he have a shit ton of movie posters in the background so that you knew he saw movies? No, he didn't. Film criticism died with Roger Ebert, and this very weekend, we just watched the movie industry die. For God's sakes, I hope China gets involved, because it's going to take some kind of China super company to go up against these guys to force them to actually make good movies instead of just product. You go look at that press release from Disney. Take a look at it. They're just so excited to absorb these worlds. That's all they're doing. Oh, they say it's benefiting consumers by bringing new technology. What technology could you not put in this movie? Oh, but Fox had that, and now we got access. Bullshit. Not how shit works. You stupid consumer whores. You enabled all of this. I read Luke Skywalker dies. Spoilers. You know, if someone from the original trilogy needs to die in each of these movies, how about the dumb bitch got herself killed? Yeah, why don't we write her off because she's dead, huh? Oh, well, it's so sad. You can't make fun of Carrie Fisher. She's Princess Leia. Nobody seems to give a shit about the guy that was stuck in R2-D2. Who are the people who are like, it's going to be so sad seeing this with Kenny Baker dead? Who are those people? I haven't seen any of them. Oh, well, I'm not a real Star Wars fan. I can't really talk about Star Wars. Is that the delusional shit you live under? Killing Luke Skywalker just to make Rey look stronger. Now she's going to have to do all the... I don't know, the fighting of the evil by herself. Every guy's just a bore to make her look good. The Disney princess motif. I could give a shit. And for God's sake, I thought you guys learned your lesson with The Force Awakens like I did. Like, hey, Star Wars is gone. The truth was, Star Wars has been dead since 1983. It's just taken you a long-ass time to realize it. Have you figured it out yet? Like, comment, share... Follow, subscribe. Vaughn Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Vaughn Fry. Because fuck Google.